today we're going to be looking at Bitcoin on all the different time frames to do some top down analysis and we'll also be taking a look at the Bank of England rate hikes and seeing how that may or may not affect Bitcoin. So make sure you watch all of the videos so you up to date with the latest in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. So let's get straight into it and let's take a look at Bitcoin on the monthly chart. So the monthly chart of Bitcoin is actually not looking very good, um, which is unsurprising seeing the current climate of Bitcoin. You can see we broke down and actually closed below here on the monthly chart, this level at 29,000, which is not good at all because that will then be a hard resistance to have to face when we come back around. Now, in terms of levels of supply, so the last level of uh, the last up move before the major down move, uh, we'll be looking at this level here, which will be anywhere between 37,000 and 48,000 on the monthly chart. So this for me is a target, but also a potential level we could see a further decrease in price. So if we refine this level on our weekly charts, we can refine this to the last up move candle here, which is actually between 40 and 48,000. And then we can keep going down to the daily charts uh, where we refine it again. Now with daily charts, I would probably just refine it uh, to this level. I don't want to get too carried away with refinement because then you can miss the major move. But between 44 and 48,000 does look like a pretty decent level to expect some type of major either reversal or some type of major sell off from. Now we have a long way to go before we even hit that. And uh, something we need to talk about is the Bank of England rate hike. So they're predicting 13% inflation and a long recession, 13% uh, in October, which is absolutely crazy. You know, this this is very, very uh, unprecedented, at least in recent times. You know, we've seen apparently the living standards and stuff would actually tumble by more than any time in the last 60 years, which you know is kind of scary to think about. And uh, England, Bank of England has pushed their interest rates uh, up from 0.5 percent points uh, to 1.75 percent. So a very big increase. The biggest single jump in borrowing costs uh, in 27 years. So very, very substantial there. And will this have an impact on Bitcoin? Uh, well, so far, it doesn't really seem to have had much of an impact. We've seen a little bit more bullish momentum than normal, but uh, I don't think it's going to be one of those things where we just see a huge pump or dump based on it. It'll be more of like a long term effect. Now, I would just go off technicals right now and uh, tell you that with this current uptrend, you know, there is no sign of it slowing down just yet. So that is a good sign. However, it's important to note that uh, you know we're not out of the woods yet. We do have major levels of supply coming up, which would be around that thirty thousand dollar level. So if we are hitting that level, you know we are most likely going to see somewhat of a sell off. And whether that sell off comes down lower to twenty thousand, fifteen thousand, whatever, you know it's all possible. That's one of those things. You know a lot of people say it's not possible for Bitcoin to hit fifteen k, twelve k, ten k, whatever. It's all possible. It's always possible, and it's always dictated by those institutions that have the high buying and selling pressure and power. So if we take a look at this channel Bitcoin is currently trading in, we can see we're either going to have a breakout or breakdown. But what we want to do is wait for something to happen. We want to see this breakout. And right now, all we can do is trade the uptrend because that is what it's showing us. If we go to the daily charts, you can see the major level of demand we'd be looking at would be around here uh, between 20,700 and $22,000. So if price does make its way back into there, I'll be scaling down to the one hour, the 30 minute or the 15 minute chart and finding an entry to then potentially see price go higher. So if we do see that happen, then that will be a successful trade. If we don't, and we do break down lower. I think we know if we're really breaking down below 19 or 20,000, that's when we're going to start seeing a further drop off in price. And that's where we're going to start seeing, uh, you know, the lows of and the likes of, you know, 16, 17 thousand dollar Bitcoin and potentially a further drop off, you know, from these recent lows. Now, in terms of where we can go, if we look all the way back and uh, again, do a bit of top down analysis, let's go back to the weekly chart. We can see here there is a very key level of uh, demand, which is actually held at uh, 9,800 up to $12,000 for Bitcoin. So this could be, uh, an, again, a key level that Bitcoin comes to at some point. If we do break down uh, in a very, very bearish way, that could be a very good buy zone. However, like we said, let's just wait for something to happen before we start trying to predict things. Let's see if we can keep this uptrend going and break up to 30K or if we're going to break down uh, and then we can start shorting the market and taking those short trades down to the lower lows. 
Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about Bitcoin's price right now? Do you think we're going to be seeing us go up to 30,000 or do you think we're going to be revisiting the lows of around 17,000 or even lower? We'd love to know. Leave a comment down below. And also, if you are new to the channel, guys, subscribe for more and also leave a like on the video. Really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.